Hello everyone. In this video of Creo Parametric 6.0, we will see some basic sketcher command. So let us start. Click on a new. Here, by default, black dot is on part. Select the sketch. Give the file name as per your wish. So I will give sketch. 0 2 and say ok. Now here a sketcher workbench will appear. You can see all 2D commands over here. So let us start with first command that is a line command. So in order to select the line command you have to left click on mouse button and select it. Now draw a horizontal line like this or you can also draw a vertical line like this. Here Creo will automatically generate dimension for this line. You can change the dimension for this line by double clicking on dimension over here and change it to 15. Now again select the line command. Here you can notice that whenever you draw a horizontal line or vertical line, you can see a straight symbol in green rectangle. But whenever you are going to draw any kind of inclined line, then you will not see any kind of symbol. So this is my inclined line. Now in order to delete this, you have to just left click on the mouse button and drag the mouse and select it and delete. Now my next command is the rectangle command. In rectangle, there are four types of rectangle which you can draw. So first one is the corner rectangle. So let us select corner rectangle. In corner rectangle, you have to specify two corner of the rectangle. So this is my first corner and this is my second corner. And in order to come out of the command, you have to select, click on select over here. Now next command is the slanted rectangle. Now name itself indicates that we will draw a rectangle at some angle. So for slanted rectangle, you need to define three points. So let me select first point, second point and third point of the rectangle. So in this way you can draw a slanted rectangle. Next one is the center rectangle. So here you need to first specify the center of the rectangle and corner point. Next type of rectangle is the parallelogram. In parallelogram also, you need to define three point of the rectangle. So this is first point, this is second point and this is third point of the parallelogram. So in this way, you can draw four types of rectangle in Creo as per your requirement. So let us go to the circle over here. In circle also, there are four circle commands. So first one is the center and point. So here you need to specify the center of circle and end point of the circle. Then in order to come out of the circle command, again go to select over here. Now here you will see the diameter of the rectangle. You can change the diameter by double click on it. Let's say 12. Now next is the concentric circle. Now in order to draw a concentric circle, you should have already one circle available in your sketch. So from that circle, you can draw a concentric circle. So select the circle and move inward. In this way, you can draw inward concentric and then move outward. You can draw in this way 
concentric circle as per your requirement. Now next type is a three point. So in three point circle, you need to define three point of the circle in this way. Now last one is the three tangent. So you will draw three tangent circle to a three lines. So let me draw three lines over here. Now select a three tangent circle, select the first line, select the second line and then select the third line. So this circle will be tangent to these three lines. Now drag the mouse and delete it. Now next one is the arc command. In arc there are five types of arc command. Now first is the three point tangent end. So here you need to define three point of the arc. Later on you can edit the radius as per your requirement. Next one is the center and ends. Here you need to define center of the arc and then end point of the arc. Next one is the three tangent. In three tangent it is quite similar to three tangent circle. So let me draw here three lines. So you can draw an arc which is tangent to these three lines in this way. So you can see an arc which is tangent to these three lines. Let me select it and delete it. Now next arc command is the concentric arc command. So in order to draw a concentric arc command you should have at least one arc in your sketch. Okay. Now select the concentric arc command. So select the arc and move inward. In this way you can draw a concentric arc. Move outward. In this way you can draw a concentric arc. So in concentric arc the center point will remain same for all the arcs. Next arc command is the conic command. So here you need to define first point, second point and third point of your conic. Then later on you can modify the dimension as per your requirements. Now next is the ellipse. In ellipse you will see the two types of ellipse. One is axis and ellipse. Now specify the end of the ellipse and then draw an ellipse. Later on you can define the major axis and minor axis by just double click on this dimension. Next is the center and axis ellipse. So here you need to first specify the center of the ellipse and then end axis of the ellipse. So these are the two types of ellipse. Now next one is the spline. So select the spline command and draw the spline as per your requirement. These are nothing but the control points of the spline. You can move these control points as per your requirement. You can define the shape as per your requirement with the help of this control point. So this is the use of spline command. Hope you like this video. We will cover the remaining command in next tutorial. Thank you for watching.